Hi, uh, this is Justin Kirby's vlog on my media fast and immersion day that I did last week. Um, before my media fast, the night before, I tried to establish what media was and what I wasn't allowed to interact with the next day or um, look at or um, watch or smell or dress as or, yeah, not really sure. So um, I found a definition which said media is channels or tools used to store and deliver information or data. Now to me that meant that from anything from television and uh, print media and social media and obviously things like that to other things like smells and clothes which might um, deliver information about a person or about a certain food if it's a um, smell for example and uh, so I, I pretty much realized it was going to be very difficult the night before uh, my media fast and because uh, we live in such a media saturated society that everywhere you look, everywhere you go, you will experience media and you will interact with media and I can't go two minutes without checking my phone or checking Twitter or Facebook or an hour without going online. So. Um, I knew it was going to be difficult and I also knew that there were going to be, it has to be a few compromises and one of those was that taking that definition, face-to-face -face communication would be media but um, for me I didn't want to be a social recluse and I did want to inter interact with others so I, uh, I allowed face-to-face -face communication um, but the day started with uh, my alarm not going off because it was off, everything was off my laptop was shut down, my phone was off and uh, so I woke up at one o'clock and was basically spent a good two hours just lying in bed having a shower trying to escape media, not looking at media, not going on my phone which was run out of battery on purpose and uh, I almost felt as if especially when I got up and I went down to spa uh, to get some food I felt that I'd almost there was almost a sense of mine which had been completely abolished or restricted because I wasn't allowed to look some places because of posters down the spine. I wasn't allowed to, I don't know, uh, interact with certain things, look at certain shops or buying food was extremely difficult. I probably broke my had a lapse in concentration and I guess I couldn't avoid that. Media is inescapable to me, so I had, there were a few compromises. But um, catering hall in the evening was very difficult. There was a there are TVs left, right, and centre in the room, and uh, unintentionally, I was eating my food and I was watching the screen without really realizing what was going on because I mean it was Beyonce and I love Beyonce, so um, yeah, that was basically a, showing me that media I take it in without necessarily acknowledging what I'm doing and the media immersion day was probably more key to me for me to be able to see that I am living in a life I'm living uh, in a world where we are just our lives are reliant on media I mean especially for relationships. There are relationships at home that wouldn't work without social media. They wouldn't work without Facebook, Skype, Twitter, how, because um, media compresses time, it compresses space. So um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty enlightening to be able to see what relationships, if I didn't have media, would uh, stay as strong and which would, what ones would develop. And it as I spent most of my day interacting with people in my halls in Lancaster University, I, uh, I realised that it would be the ones who were in close proximity to me. And another thing which I thought about during my media immersion day was a theory of uh, um, semiotics and the media that I create, whether it is taken by my preferred meaning or whether it is whether the person gets the wrong idea from my media there are plenty of things on YouTube which prove that people are getting uh, laughed at after a 
night out when they've uh, done something seriously that it's come off on YouTube humorously and millions of people are watching it laughing at you so um, that was another thing which I thought in my media saturated world um, perhaps that was something I have to be aware of for, for, for the future and for future engagements with uh, media and interactions because you're not sure how people will perceive what you say and what you um, what uh, the media that you make um, but I guess to conclude on the day I'd probably say that the most shocking thing for me was my relationships and also how reliant I am and when I unintentionally uh, interact with media especially in uh, the um, catering hall that was pretty shocking that I would be watching media and not aware of what I was doing not aware that I was breaking my media fast and it's almost an unconscious decision which um, which I was making and it it does make one think that even when you're not directly purposefully in taking media it is all around us and we are um, we are always interacting with media wherever we are and whenever we are so uh, yeah I guess that sums up my vlog so goodbye